Let's move on now to another very, very interesting story, a story that I am absolutely and totally fascinated by. You know, the entire idea of buying a new smartphone seems simple, but it's actually a pretty complicated process. Some of us take a decision instantly, while others take a long time and compare things. But have you ever thought about what is it that leads you to take that big decision? Think about it deeply for a moment. Brand, budget, processor, camera, looks, screen. Well, yes, all of those, important. But one of the biggest criteria that we all look into are the two big specifications that everyone compares the RAM and the storage. In fact, this is what tilts many decisions one way or the other. And for very good reason, the RAM and storage within can be actually make or break for a phone. It's performance, number of apps you use, number of pictures and videos you take. In fact, everything you do daily with your phone depends predominantly around these two. Yet when we think of these two, we just think of numbers, 4 GB, 6 GB, 128 GB, just a specification to tick mark and move on. None of us really go deeper into what RAM is, what kinds are there, who makes it, how do they differ, how they work and affect your phone's performance. The same holds true for storage as well. The important point to remember is that all RAM and storage is not equal. Today is the day we open up this magical part of our phones and reveal all. Now we know about brands that make smartphones, but hardly any of us know about the company that makes these all-important components inside the phones. Micron is one of the world's leading companies that makes the RAM and internal storage that we find in most phones. In fact, Micron leads with R&D and innovation in this field. Before we go deeper into Micron's role in this field, let's understand these components better. With each iteration of the RAM, like LPDDR4 or LPDDR5, it gets faster and that means the phone performance actually becomes faster. For example, a 108 megapixel camera on a phone is able to shoot photos in the highest possible resolution and process these photos in real time because of the quality and efficiency of the RAM in play. Similarly, with faster RAM, storage capacity has also increased. This is due to the rising demand for higher storage devices as our apps and photos now consume more space than ever before. These days, phones come with UFS 3.0 or UFS 3.1 storage. This means that the read-write speed of the phone storage are faster than the previous generations. So what should you look for when buying a new phone today? Don't just look at the RAM and storage as numbers. Dive a little deeper into it. Here's a little checklist for you. For a faster, more seamless experience, it's best to go with the latest version of RAM and internal storage. This means you should look for a phone having LPDDR5 memory for RAM and UFS 3.1 standard for the storage capacity. This gives you a fast, efficient phone that will also be future-proof. Now, Micron has these solutions as they make high-performance RAM and high-capacity storage fast for all phones. So we decided to sit down and have a word with Micron and understand the true importance of what they do to make our smartphones perform above and beyond our expectations. Thank you, Raj, for joining us. Great to have you out here. Of course, I think we're in different time zones between you and I. So good to have you here, whatever the time zone is right now. You know, thank you so much for having me on this show, Rajiv. It's uh, really my pleasure to talk to you. All right, so Raj, let's start off with trying to find out a little bit about what is RAM and storage because, you know, we just did a very interesting story on it. But I think everybody wants to know, RAM and storage, how does it make a big difference to the phone? Now, memory is, uh, is uh, what people call the volatile. That means uh, when you take the power off the phone, you know, you power on the phone for the first time, whatever was stored in there goes away. So it's volatile. Storage is not volatile. So when you take a picture or you download a video, it stays there. So storage uh, actually is uh, something where people used to store their personal information, their pictures, their videos. Now memory uh, is what is required for the processor to store the intermediate information to take uh, to give you the great experience. So right now, Raj, we are in the world of LPDDR5, but it didn't happen overnight. Can you trace back and tell us the last five or 10 years, how we've evolved and reached where we are right now? As the processors got faster, as the display resolution gets bigger, uh, as more and more applications are loaded onto the phone, your performance of the phone and your, your user experience of the phone is really, really determined by how much memory you have, which is actually the what is size of the memory, that is your six gig, eight gig, and so on. And how fast is the memory? The speed at which you can access the memory. Because if you access the memory not fast enough from the processor, the phone looks slow. So that is called the bandwidth. Now LPDDR3, LPDDR4, LPDDR5, and LP stands for low power, because this is a DDR memory that's been optimized for phones, because power is very important 
they're all evolutions of the memory which higher and higher speed. So LPDDR5 that we talked about now, which Micron has pioneered and it's the first one in the market, it's LPDDR5, is one of the fastest memories you can get. Okay, now we've understood lots of things to do with RAM, but Raj, tell us a little bit about storage because at the end of the day today, we have phones where you can't add storage, it's the storage that it comes built in with. So it's become even more important. Definitely, storage is another very, very important part of the phone experience. Storage is where all your pictures are stored, all your videos are stored, all the applications that you download to your phone are actually stored. If you don't have enough storage, you won't be able to download enough applications. All you, after a certain point, it's going to say you don't have enough storage for your pictures. Now, another thing that has happened over the last few years is people are downloading not just pictures, but they're downloading and streaming a lot of video. Like if you look at uh, you know things like Netflix or Prime Video or you know uh, so many other streaming services, they allow you to download now for a subscription, a bunch of shows and sh store them securely on your phone so you can watch them even when you don't have a high speed connection. Mm -hmm. For you to be able to do that, you need a lot of storage. Because if you don't have enough storage, you cannot store enough video. The speed of storage also matters. Now, particularly what happens is, let's say you go to 4G and 5G, you're now downloading video at a very high speed. Uh, now you can't process it and display it fast enough. So it has to be stored into the storage at a very high speed. In storage, we have standards called UFS, which stands for you know Universal File System. There's UFS 2.1, UFS 3, now there's UFS 4 coming. Okay, Raj, the big important question now is what should a person look for when they're buying a phone? How do they evaluate the RAM and the storage? So I, you know, I think right now uh, people are saying, uh, most people are saying that when you go from 4G to 5G, pretty much the, the common, the average density of memory that's needed in the phone is going to double. So before okay. you bought a four gigabyte phone, now you're going to buy an eight gigabyte phone with 5G. You bought a 64 gigabyte storage, now you need to buy a 128 or 256 gigabyte storage.